Well, if you are out there and you feel strongly about corn, this is your time to shuck. Love these questions. Love them. Please keep them coming. Bush Ranger writes, okay, uh, Bush Ranger actually just sent a drawing. I think it's a shrub hugging a stick figure. Is that? Oh, I think that's supposed to be me. Oh, Bushy, my heart can't take such sweetness. Oh, there's something written here. It says, hi, 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 don't let them eat me. Uh, I have some good news, Bushy. I can't promise they won't eat you, but I am pretty sure you are poisonous. So if they do, they're going to have a bad day. So it's not a lot, but it is something. Keep growing toward the light, my leafy frond. Okay, uh, Zorgatron writes, as an alien who has been on the island for years now, I'm curious why no one ever asks my opinion on alien matters. Probably because we all thought that was a costume. And also, I don't know, you're such a slow talker. And sure, you may possess the wisdom of the cosmos, but pick up the pace. More questions. Dr. Sloan from the I.O. has this to say. Cease all communications with and discussion of alien matters immediately. Uh-oh. Sounds like someone knows something. Well, tell me who you are and what the I.O. is, and maybe we'll have a deal. Hey, look, uh, if you know who this Sloan weirdo is, can you message me? She will not back off, and she is really freaking me out. Seriously. Please. <laughs> I don't know how much time I have. I am not quitting. I am not stopping the show. And anyone who says so is lying! <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm back. I'm fine. Be careful. Please. There's not a lot I can say, but keep watching the stars. Be careful. Please. <laughs> All right. So, if you're not driving a truck, maybe knock it off. I, uh, still don't approve of this usage of Citizens Band Radio, but if you're asking, I, I actually might have seen a weird thing or two in my time on the road. You know something? I think I would. First, though, what do you know about the maple syrup industry? Kangaroos. You should probably still not be using this channel. <sighs> okay. What about the platypus? Alien girl? Hello? I know I gave you a hard time, but um, I'd really like to know if you're okay. Or if you need help, just let me know, okay? Alien girl? If you can hear me, I just wanted to let you know that I miss your show. It was kind of a nice comfort out on the road. I even thought of a name for it. Here goes. Hot Saucers. <laughs> you like it? Hot Saucers. <laughs> Pretty good, right? Hot Saucers. <sighs> I, I, don't know, I just I hope you're back on the air again soon. Hey, uh... If you're out there and you have any information about Mari, I'm on the air. Just, you know, please let me know. Wow. So it isn't just me. Uh, alien sighting girl? Are you still there? I mean, I'm really excited to find someone else who... Who knows what I'm talking about? Hey, hey, no, 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 don't be embarrassed. Yeah, of course. Why would you lie on an open radio channel to no one? Of course, maybe you're just trying to trick the good people of the airwaves into spilling their secrets. Hey, you're the evil mastermind here. You tell me. And thus exposing all the secret sightings and hidden hauntings for your own nefarious purposes. Can't argue with that. If there's one thing I've learned about this UFO stuff, it's that there are way more of us believers than you'd expect. No, it's good. I bet people really appreciate it. It makes them feel less alone. If you put out the call, I bet you'll get lots of people telling you that. Oh, right. I should have mentioned that there are lots of truckers out there, too. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh,